sharing with you how I taught myself how to do a back bend. So I don't take gymnastics and I don't know much about that stuff. You know, I'm just an average girl, but I kind of wanted to learn how to do a back bend. You don't have to be into gymnastics, you don't have to be in gymnastics to learn how to do a back bend. It's actually really easy as long as you get over the fear of it. But it's really good to just have flexibility no matter what you're in. If you're in football, it's good for falling. No matter what you're in, flexibility is a good thing to have. So the first thing to do is to be able to do a back bend from the ground. For most people, this is pretty easy, but if you're not one of those people, well, for everybody, just do some stretches first. Like my hands, they weren't really ready for it. Like when my hands were back like this, it really hurt my wrists. So I would just recommend doing stretches, you know, to make sure that your hands, your arms, your back especially is ready. So number one, stretch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is rock. I'm gonna rock and rock. It's really fun, but <laughs> it's mostly for the stretching, but it's still fun. <sighs> I'm gonna stretch out my hands because they usually get really, they don't like, adjusted that very well very easily you know so the best tip that I can give you guys for stretching and flexibility is that you are more flexible after your body is hot like going on a run when you already like did that stuff your body is able to do these things like right after running at school I came home from my mom to my mom one day, Mom, I did a regular back bend to school. It was so cool. And then I was like, Mom, I need to show you, right? I totally collapsed. I couldn't do it because I like did a run. So I like to do my back bends after I do a run or go on a run with my mom. Like if you do 50 jumping jacks or go on a run just to warm your body up. So now we're going to start with the back bend. And I'm going to put my um, arms into an acute angle. And they're supposed to be kind of near your, near your ears. Then we're going to spread out our legs if you're a beginner and you don't know how to do this. Or if it's just, it's usually easier for me and kind of for everybody to just spread their legs out while they're doing it. But if you're, if you're pretty good at gymnastics or you've been to a gymnastic class or you just do it at home a lot, try and put your knees together. And we're going to go into that back bend pose. Then. Do it a few times, and then try and get your feet closer to your head. Once you've done that a few times, and you're the master at that, you've got to master it. You can't just be comfortable, you've got to master it if you're going to move on to these next steps. The next step we're going to do is we're going to do it on the wall. We're going to start from here, and we're going to walk ourselves down the wall. Now you don't have to master the wall, you just have to be comfortable with that one. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go onto a raised surface, like a bed, a couch, or a chair. For this one, you can the point of all these things are just to get your muscles ready for the, the back bend and get you used to the motion of a back bend. And once you're doing that, then you're pretty much good. Now spotting is one of the most important parts because without spotting you almost can't do it. Because you have to get over the fear of falling backwards. It's literally like falling. And then you have to catch yourself. That's kind of creepy. Like have you ever like fallen and you're doing something you're like that in your bed? It's creepier than that. It's what you have to like fall. You bend and bend, but then at some point, like halfway, you have to f literally fall. Just let your body go. And that's kind of creepy without somebody like holding you there because you feel like you are going to fall and then you're that nervous that you don't catch yourself right. So spotting is when they put your, their hand or hands on your lower back. 
So do that for like a week. It took me like a week, so it might take you a little less, a little more to get that spot in there. My mom went like that so that I was able to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go sideways like this. You're going to get one hand down and then flip the other part of your, bar, your body over like that. Now that's kind of if you're practicing by yourself. It's best to have a spotter. But that is what, that's what got me able to do the motion best. So I would recommend doing that. And then once you're good with that and you're done with your spotter, you're gonna bend your knees, make sure your arms are high, and then you're just gonna bend and bend, and then drop. Now you guys, this is only part one of this video. Well, we're gonna make another one, part two. But part two is when you kick over and you do a back bend kick over, which is more like a back flip, I think, but you know. So the next part is kicking over and then you put your leg up and they start bouncing on the other leg. Anyway, I'll give you a video. I'll give you part two video later, but right now you need to master this before we get on to part two. I will get on to part two in two or three weeks. So watch out and keep on practicing your back bends. Now I'm not a gymnast and I hope you liked this video. And if you have any gymnastics tips for me, please comment them below. If there are any things that helped you, Tell me in the comments down below. Tell me how good you're doing with your back bends right now. If this video helped you, then I will have another one coming. And I think more in the future. This is pretty fun. Anyway, tell me how you're doing with your back bends and see us next time on Studio B.